What's up YouTube? I'm back again with another video and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my 3D modeling process of this Cos toy vinyl figure. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Before I jump in, let me pay some bills real quick. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Follow us on all social channels at Veronica Studios. All links are in the description. Check out our previous work at veronicastudios.com where you can also find our pricing and booking information. And shout out to the Brooklyn Museum for having a cause exhibition right now. Uh, that's what actually kind of gave me the initial idea to do this model is because I saw the exhibition. Uh, this was back like in February and the exhibition runs until September. So if you're in Brooklyn, get out there and check it out. Okay, so I thought this model was dope. One, because uh, it's from one of my favorite artists, Cause uh, the actual artist's name is Brian Donnelly. If you're not familiar, uh, he's from like the same, you know, the same like cloth as Keith Haring, artists like that. like. For some reason, I just really like the kind of like the cartoon feel, like the, the youthfulness of, of his work and people like him work. So here you see we are jumping into the modeling process. Uh, actually, at first, I had a hard time figuring out how to model the head. And uh, I think rather than, uh, because this whole beginning part, I basically had to scratch because it wasn't, I wasn't really getting any um, process, but later on I started finding better methods with different, as I was uh, experimenting with different tools to use. So I think it'll be more beneficial for me to kind of just go over the main tools that I use to model this. One of the main tools that I used was the symmetric tool. So the symmetric tool allows you to mirror anything that you're modeling on whatever axis you're modeling it on. So if you're modeling an eye, for example, uh, you see the eyes, you see the, the, the two skulls on each side. Those are a splitting image of one model. Uh, so instead of having to model four skulls, four ears, I only modeled two. Instead of modeling two eyes, I only modeled one. Something else I picked up on was knowing when to use what shape. So for example, with the skull, I tried to model the skull using a square at first, and then I later tried it with a circle. And I also picked up that you want to really understand how to subdivide. So knowing when to use what shape and learning how to properly subdivide is key in modeling. It will save you so much time. So that's something that I'm picking up on as I'm going. I had to re-scope the arms, legs, hands, and shoes. No, I had to re-scope the hands, legs, and shoes over again because I forgot to save my work. So let that be a lesson to, to anybody always save because that was at least a half day of work that just went down the drain, but practice makes perfect, as they say. So, you know, we don't complain over here because that was a situation where I could have easily been like, oh man, F this, I'm not redoing this. That was a lot of work. But, you know, when, whenever there's challenges or roadblocks in your way, you know, it's nothing that you can't handle. So, For all of my super professional modelers out there, please, please 
show mercy on me. I'm a beginner here and I'm learning as I go. But if you are an experienced modeler, so yeah, just hit me up. I would like to know what I'm doing well here, what I'm doing not so well. I think the only other thing that was big for me during this model was the brush tool. Uh, the brush tools, at first I was selecting each point or line or face or whatever part of the object I wanted to select and I was manually adjusting it and with the X, Y and Z axis and it was taking forever and then I discovered the brush tool and then it was a lot more easier for me to curve the lines that I wanted to. And then when I started adjusting the brush pressure and the strength, it was very easy for me to move the points that I needed to, to make the molds that I wanted to. So once I got the overall kind of like rough foundation of what I was looking for, then I would go into sculpting mode and I would use the different sculpting tools to basically uh, smooth everything like I wanted to and just kind of make every, give everything a kind of like little personal touch. And that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, if you thought it was dope, if you thought it was fun, then like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. That's it. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.